Hello everyone. Uh, thanks for taking time to join this session. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the getting personalization done with the smart content. So smart content is uh, completely built into the Drupal. So it's a personalization solution that's entirely built in Drupal. Uh, it's not going to use any other tool like Optimizely or Acrylift or anything else. So uh, this session is kind of going to be a demo. I do have like limited number of slides uh, that I will go through then then I'll jump to the demo part. So about me, uh, myself, Mahesh Shankla and, and I'm working with Citizen Technologies Private Limited as a technical solution architect. And uh, I started working with Drupal uh, from the Drupal 6, then I'm continuing with Drupal 7, 8 and 9. I do have a full stack development experience and I do have a special interest into the front end and the JavaScript frameworks uh, like React, Angular, Vue.js and I also love getting my hands dirty with the DevOps task like setting up the pipelines or setting up infrastructure or doing some automation around that and I am Micro certified Drupal Data Grandmaster. Uh, below are a couple of links uh, by which you can connect with me after this session if you want to connect or have more discussion around the smart content. So on Drito, I'm with the name of M Sankla and on Twitter and the Facebook I'm available as at the handle of uh, at the rate mutant Mahesh. So uh, agenda, so agenda is just explore the uh, smart content module and its ecosystem. And how it's built and how you can use it then compatibility of smart content and smart content paragraphs module so there are actually two major modules at smart content and smart content paragraph uh, both of them can be used uh, to do uh, some personalization uh, but the compatibility is important and then the use cases that can be covered by the smart content so there are a couple of use cases that can easily be covered by the uh, smart content like detecting the device type detecting whether user is a new or a returning user or a location based personalization like based on the city or the country and any custom use case that you can think of you can certainly extend the smart content module using its API and uh, with a small effort you can have that particular business use cases uh, declared or defined with the uh, smart content. Then I will show you how you can extend the smart content module by developing by showing you the uh, sample module the tracking the user with the smart content data layer. So there is also a smart content data layer module that, that will allow you to track the smart content, the whatever version is going to be shown to the user. And then they'll be testing using the Cloudflare worker. So uh, very first thing, the compatibility of the smart content paragraphs module with the smart content. So as you can see in the table, there's a smart content and smart content paragraphs. So the latest stable version of the smart content module is 3.0.0 but that's not compatible with the smart content paragraph module that's 1.0.0 alpha 3. But the older version of smart content module that's 8.x 1.0 it's compatible with the latest module of the smart content paragraphs. But I would recommend to go with the smart con the stable version of the smart content module even though it's not compatible with the smart content paragraphs because smart content module has a lot of uh, API change into the 3.0 uh, version and that's going to be improved further uh, until the smart content paragraph catch by that API. So in this demo I'm going to use this this uh, stable version of this one uh, 3.0.0. So I do have set up a site uh, for the demo it's called www.alls.com. Uh, so this is how my setup is like uh, user will send type the www.alls into their uh, location bar, a request will go to the Cloudflare, I do have a Cloudflare setup in between. The Cloudflare will send request to the actual Drupal site that's running on the EC2 instance and the EC2 instance will give you the response and then I do have a Cloudflare worker. Uh, so Cloudflare worker is a kind of you can consider as a, a, a logic layer that's available into the Cloudflare where you can do some uh, like manipulation to the response that's written by the origin server before transmitting into the actual user. So I do have some a, one Cloudflare worker that's working on a specific path and then it's going to return the content to the actual user. Uh, smart content conditions, there are a couple of conditions that's so in uh, actually smart content module has a two, two sub modules smart content block and smart content browser. Those two models provide uh, different conditions uh, that can be used to detect 
whether it's true or false and based on that you can choose the response or the reaction how you want to respond differently to the to the customer so these are the couple of conditions i will show you all of them into the action uh, once i jump to the demo uh, so this part I will come later, uh, the architecture part. So uh, let me jump to the, uh, my, the my site. So I do have this Cloudflare account. I do have this www.alls.com website set up and Cloudflare is active. And this is my website uh, www.alls.com where I'm logged in as a admin user. And I do also have a, a smart IP module. So there is a smart IP module. Uh, drupal.org if you go to the smart ip uh, that will allow you to detect the ip address of the user uh, or the uh, detect the location of the user based on its ip address and it actually use the maxmine to geo ip address so i have configured this module so you can simply configure this module by following the instruction given on this page uh, how to configure this uh, this is uh, actually out of the scope of this this session but it's very easy to follow, uh, follow the instruction and then you will have this uh, smart IP module that we will use uh, when we will uh, see how we can extend the smart content module uh, to provide the condition based on the smart IP. Also I do have configured, uh, if I go to the extend, I do have enabled couple of modules. So first of all the smart content modules, uh, so if I filter by the smart you will see that I do have smart content module that is a core API module then the smart content block and smart content browser that provides the different conditions then the smart content data layer module that's actually uh, integration with the data layer the gtm and then the smart content and smart ip that is a custom module that i have developed by, uh, to demonstrate how you can extend the smart content module and provide your custom condition and there's also the smart content utm module that will allow you to uh, set some condition based on the utm parameters and then the smart IP module, this is a smart IP module uh, that's available on D.O. And this module is going to actually use the MaxMind GeoIP2 binary database. Uh, this is all configured. And then also I do have Google Analytics and Google uh, Tag Manager module configured. So Google Tag Manager module, uh, if I go to the configuration, you can see I do have Google Tag Manager uh, configured here. You can see I do have this container ID and that's configured with the Google Tag Manager. This is the configured ID GTM 5DD2 VB2. Uh, this is the container ID for the GTM. Similarly, I do have a module configured uh, Google Analytics. If I go to this one, in Google Analytics, you can see the ID is UA192891 that's configured here. Uh, if I go to this home, Mm, it may not be displayed here, but it, it should be here. If I go to the version admin workspace, this is here a smart content. This is the ID of the Google Analytics. Okay, after I am done with all of this setup and installing the module, I will show you how you can use the smart content module. So I will go to the my module. So once you go and enable the smart content module under the structure, you will have this one option called a smart content. Under the small con uh, smart content, you will have the smart content segment set. The segment set is like a set of segments that you can uh, create and then uh, segment set are a group of segment and each segment is a, a reusable condition. So that can, that can either be true or false or it can be a, a segment can be a set of conditions that can be grouped together with the AND or OR operation. So for example, uh, I want to uh, show a block on a home page if a particular cookie is set, okay. So uh, I'll go to the segment set. Mm. A specific 
cookie is cookie specific cookie set for example and i click on add segment uh, i give this name as a specific cookie here i will have the different conditions so this common condition and the browser conditions are provided by the uh, smart content block and smart content browser module the smart ip these two conditions are the custom module that i have created and the utm conditions are provided by the smart content utm modules so for example if cookie so i'll say if cookie so i want to know which cookie i want to trigger for so for example if i go to the www.holes.com if i say uh, for example application i will talk this uh, cloudflare the sbu id or the cloudflare id let's say i, I take this one sbu id so if i say that cookie sbi uid equals to this then only show me a specific block okay so i will add this as a condition so uh, so this condition is added i can add multiple condition and then i can change the if or if not and i can also change the if or if any like for the and or or operation so this is one condition i have created a segment of so i do have this specific cookie set specific set now i can use a, uh, under if i go to the st structure block layout uh, for example if i say custom block i create a custom block uh, uh, let's call this uh, sb uid cookie block uid cookie block okay and in this block let's say i want to uh so some image let's say this this sunchan photo i want to show for example let's say this image i want to show so now if i go to the block layout i want to show this block only on the home page in the content area okay so i will go into the content and on the home page i will click on place block so i will so a smart content module provide decision block so if you search for the decision block this is a smart content block place block i want to place this block so let's call this block uh, home page sb uid cookie block and segment that i created there a specific cookie set that's available here so i will choose the segment once you choose the segment you can't change it and then under the segment i i i have option to choose a block it will show me all the blocks that's available so sb uid cookie block that i just created i click on as block i don't want to show the title uh, and oh, okay let's display this title as well and then on the page i just only want to show this on a front page so this this block will be shown on the front page only if the sb uid cookie is set okay now if i go to this uh, ww all in incognito browser you will see the sb uid cookie block is shown there now if i go and into the application cookie the sb uid cookie if i change this cookie for example i change this value to 1 more 4 and then if i refresh you will see that this block is not shown and now if i change this back to this old value and now if i refresh you will see this this block is shown so based on this different conditions you can either show or hide the condition uh, blocks 
so similarly on the home page i have done so for example on the home page i'm showing uh, this grid of the contents that's available on my this cartoon box website rick and morty shin chan and grizzly and the links all of these tables so it has the title a small image and the small description this is fine with the desktop device but on the mobile device if i uh, switch to a mobile device for example iphone 6 or 7 or 8 you will see it's very small the image is almost disappearing so what i want to show i want to show the different views on the home page if it's a desktop i want to show this view but if in on the mobile i want to show the different view which will only have the two column that will have only uh, two columns uh, the title and the image i don't i want to hide the description so this is already done so so for example um, if i'm on a desktop then it will it will show me this view but if i load the same page on the mobile so i'm on the mobile now i'm going to refresh the page you will see this layout of this block is going to be changed you will see this is a rick and marty and the image and so only the title and the image is there the actual description is when okay so i will show how i have done this uh, so if i go back to this uh, structure views i have a view it's called cartoon box if i go to the edit it has two block uh, cartoon block grid and cartoon block table so on a desktop i'm showing grid on a mobile i'm showing a table block okay so what i'm uh, on this is a mobile this is a desktop view and this is a mobile view okay now i want to show two different display based on the uh, device condition so if i go to the structure smart content i'll see if i have created the mobile and the desktop device yes so i do have a mobile and desktop device this segment set so if i go edit it have mobile and desktop device it has two segment the very first segment says if any of the following condition is true if the mobile is a browser if the mobile is a browser this is the one segment and the second segment says if this is a desktop device if if mobile browser is not if this is a default now using this reusable segment i am going to show a block so if i go to the structure block layout on the home page you will see under the content i have a block called home page mobile and desktop device this is in block so if i go to this configuration of this block you will see uh, the segment is the mobile and desktop device segment that i uh, set up under the smart content segment and then under the segment on a mobile device i have a block called cartoon block table that's available under the views cartoon block table block is available is displayed if the segment is mobile device and here if segment is a desktop device then you can see the cartoon box cartoon block grid is shown cartoon block grid is shown this one so smart content module based on which condition is true it's going to show one block at a time so i simply place this block inside the content region and now if i go back to the home site uh, home page you will see it, it's actually not working for the authenticated user but it will work for the anonymous user there's a one small bug to that that i need to take care so this is how this is working okay uh, so if i refresh you will see the different display okay now comes to the part of the uh, for example let's say you want to uh so the different content or the hero banner uh based on if user has some particular interest so this is a tom and jerry page the cartoon page and this uh, you can see this is the image and i want to show a hero banner image whether the user coming to the site is interested into the fight episode of the tom and jerry or the friend episode of the tom and jerry so as you can see i do have two uh, links in the right hand side the fight if i hover over that in the status bar you can see it has utm term equals to fight and in the friend it has a utm term equals to friend or in the query parameter if i say uh, utm uh, underscore term equals to fight i if so for example you can run a campaign 
and you send some email to the users and it has a query parameter says UTM term is equal to filed and if user come to with that link then you want to show a different banner here if it comes with the friend link then you want to show a different banner here so if I go to the friend uh, or sorry fight then you will see it will show me a hero banner on top of that where Tom and Jerry both are fighting and if they come with the link which is friend then you will see a image on the top of when both Tom and Jerry are the friend and this context is if if it's set once it, it will be available until it is modified so if I click on the fight you will see it will show me the fight image if I click on the friend it will show me the friend image so I will show you how I have done it so if I jump back to this structure uh, smart content smart content segment set and here I do have friend or fight UTM term so if I go to this one I do have friend and fight, I do have two segments, fight interested user or the friend ship interested in user. So under this you will see if term that this is the condition that I have chosen from here UTM term. If term equals to fight or it can be anything else start with empty anything else then this is the one segment and if the UTM term is equals to fight uh, or there is a friend then it is another segment. So based on these two terms, I have created a smart blocks. If I go to the block layout and if I go to the feature top, I do have a block called Tom and Jerry hero banner block. Now under this block, I do have segment, the friend or fight uh, UTM terms that I created under the smart content segment. And then I do have a configuration for the fight interested user and the friend interested user. So here I do have two different blocks that I have enabled. One block is Tom and Jerry fight block, another is the Tom and Jerry hero banner. So this is how you, even with the one condition you can add multiple blocks. So I have enabled only one block but if you want you can keep adding more block and it will allow you to add as many as block you want. And, and in this page on the rule I just showing this on this particular page Tom and Jerry. So if I go back WWALS as you can see if I will go back to the this page and if I go to the Tom and Jerry the last time the context that was set was a friend so that's why it's showing the friend UI so if I for example if I click on the fight it will show me the fight <coughs> and now if I close it and now I go back in the incognito it will show me that fight image based, based on the last context that's set okay uh, so this is one use case and then then comes to the another use case uh, similarly i do have this sin chain image so for example you wanted to uh, show a different logo on this page uh, so for example you may have referral so um, let's say this sin chain um, episode comes both on the cartoon network and on the pogo so based on the UTM source you want to change UTM source if it's a CN this is Cartoon Network then you wanted to show a logo or a, another image on the right hand side uh, so if it's a CN then you'll see I will see another block here it's either this in chain on the Cartoon Network or on the Pogo so this is a combination of OR condition so I will show you how it's achieved here so once it's set it will be uh, set always until it's modified so now if I go back to this URL without this setting this context it will still be set there and now if I change this to something else for example UTM source to for example Facebook uh, it will be something else no it, it, it will be hidden actually this condition is only for the cartoon network and for the pogo so for example if I go back to the CN it have this block so I will show you how it's achieved uh, so it's Sin chain, uh, it's in the sidebar second. Content sidebar first, sidebar second. Yes, Sin chain Cartoon Network or the Pogo block. And if I go to the configuration of this one, I have this condition. It says if UTM source equals to CN or if UTM source is Pogo, and if any, not all, if any is this condition is true, then I want to show this block. So this is how it is achieved. Okay, 
now comes to the another use case so even you can carry the same context so uh, on the tom and jerry the last context was set as a fight so now if i go to this page grigi and the lemmings you will see it will show me the image where they are fighting they are fighting so now if i click on the friend you will see a image where grigi and the lemmings are the friends you know something like that or you can show the episode that's relevant to the user now you can also want to check whether user is a new or it's a returning user so now if, let's say if i go to the rick and morty and i'm going to this page first time if i go to this first time i will want to show some trailer okay now if i refresh this page i will see the different hero banner or the different video can be played here so if i come to this page again or i refresh you will see this is a different image it says the return may for some some different image so i will show you how it's achieved uh, returning versus the new user so uh, if i go to structure smart content smart segment set i have a new versus return new user and the returning user this segment set i have two segment here that says if new user so this is a new condition that i have created new user i will show you how i created these two new condition the uh, if it's a new user if it's true then this is a one segment and if not then this is another segment based on this reusable segment if i go to structure block layout you will see on the ricky morton page rick and morty page rick and morty new versus new entertaining hero blog listen you will see i do have one segment that's defined there and under the edit if it's a new user i want to show this block and if it's a returning user a uh, returning user then i want to show this block on the feature top so this is how it's achieved <coughs> all right now i want to show that how you can track all this data into the google analytics and the tag manager okay so i do have this tag manager and the analytics so for example let's say i have this ww all site configured and i want to see the last 30 minute data how it's being tracked so i will going to connect to this and this is connected so for example i i want i go to the tom and jerry page let's say one time and the second time and then i go to this grizzly and the lemmings page okay now based on as i'm browsing it's, it's triggering the different event in the data layer so if i show you on the data layer how it's being achieved so if i go to the console and type data layer you will see uh, in the data layer i do have a smart content and it's triggering the different events so uh, fight interested user gizzy and the lemmings block is being displayed so something like that okay as i go there into the here you will see these are the events that's happening welcome so i went to the home page then i went to this page and the different events are being triggered so this event got triggered it has triggered on this one and it has some data the data that's being available that's in the data layer is this this which label of the block is displayed and what is the reaction that's being displayed and then this data is actually going into the analytics so if i go to the analytics go to the real time and the events real time events and last 30 minute you will see the last 30 minute the smart content category different events are being shown as a browsing is block displayed so as you can see on the 10 time this event was fired so now if i go back to this side so for example now i'm going to go to the rick and morty so here i'll see rick and morty rick and morty new user or returning returning user is one now if i go back again there rick and morty this is the returning user now if i refresh this you will see rick and morty returning user is going to be increased by one okay 
Morty. Mm. Returning user. This is two. So same, similarly, S B A U I D is cookie block. If this is set, it's going to be ten time. So for example, if I go to Tom and Jerry fight block, it's going to be nine now. So if I go to the so first of all, I go to the fight so that it set the right context. And then on the Tom and Jerry page, if I go to Tom and Jerry, it's going to be this whole, the fight image. Now, if I refresh this, you will see the content. This is going to be increased. Tom and Jerry fight block. This is the nine now. So this is how you can track that into the event how the different users are the in the smart content how you can show the different version of the blog and then you can track it that which version is working well okay now comes uh, the coding part of this one i'll show you how you can actually uh, extend the smart content module and then at the end i'll show you how you can use the cloudflare worker to do the b testing uh, so if I go jump back, so smart condi smart content conditions, as you can see, all of these conditions I I, I just explained, not all of them, but everything is similar to I just just explained you the how the mobile condition, how the cookie condition works. Similarly, other condition works and can be extended. And then if I go to this smart content module architecture, how it's uh, available and how so actually in this module there are two sub modules, smart content block and a smart content browser that provides all of these conditions and you can create a new custom module using the smart content module API uh, that will allow you to add some more conditions uh, in this list and this module actually has a seven plugin manager there are different plugin types that you can uh, provide so you can provide the smart condition smart condition smart condition group smart condition type smart content decision decision storage all of these are different conditions you can provide and the good part is that there is only one reaction controller that's responsible for reacting based on whether which condition is true or false and then you have two config entities and one content entities so if you go through this module uh, you will be able to understand how you can extend so i will show you how i extended and how i provided a new item under the condition part so if i go to smart content smart content and if i go to the segment add segment as you can see i do have some extra conditions location and user so i will show you how i added location condition smart ip so i have a custom module called smart content smart ip that's actually dependent on the smart ip module that's configured it's going to use the smart ip module api to detect uh, the location of a user based on the smart ip okay so under this module if i go to this is a very simple module only so i believe the screen size is good enough okay so in this left hand side you can see in the info file this is just a simple info file it has dependency on the smart content module and the smart ip module <coughs> and in library file it's just the one js file that i have created i will talk about later and that dependent upon the smart content storage and the condition type in the services file i do have one event subscriber that's also even not necessary for this uh, to work and in the src file if i go to the plugin and in plugin i do have a smart condition group so if i go to the group smart ip so this is smart ip transition with the smart ip so this is a group name where this is just simple empty class that's actually extending this condition group base smart ip so once I provided this graph, I will have this group available here, the smart IP. Then this location part, this is actually the condition. So this is a smart condition. <coughs> this is a location part. Actually, my module is not as uh, the post, the latest code is not pushed there. So uh, this is actually a location part that's written here. It should be a location and that's being displayed here on the location part. and then in the derivative you will have the smart content derivatives so as you can see uh, simply this is the yeah this this is coming from there the derivative part the location uh, uh, so the location thing is coming from the this one this is the location and smart ip simply uh, and what is doing it's actually in the 
in the so when I go to the location if I click on location add condition you will see in drop down it's providing me a list of all the states in the different countries all around the globe so in the callback option I do have this get class get region options so this get region option is simply reading all of this country and the state name from the CSV file and presenting it as a drop down and once you have this under the JS file uh, you will have this file and you can see you simply need to uh, return the condition in the Drupal smart content plugin field setting this is the namespace under which your condition is going to be it's going to return the Drupal setting smart content and region so based on the whether it's written a true or false it's going to compare against this value and and in the pre-process function into the mo my module you can see in the pre-process block I'm simply attaching my JS file that's actually under the JS setting is returning the smart IP modules query the current IP address of the user so current IP address because I'm running behind the Cloudflare worker so I'm check getting the actual visitor IP from this header if it's not available then it's passing the empty so it's go always going to get this header and pass it and the smart IP module is going to use its smart IP API using the maxmine2 uh, database and then it's going to attach the actual IP under this setting the smart content smart IP and and then into the JS file it's going to actually compare it against this uh, location that's written by under the Drupal setting so under the JS file Drupal setting and it's returning the region from that setting okay now comes the Cloudflare worker part uh, the A-B testing part of this one so under the for the A-B testing uh, because all the conditions that's by that set by the smart content module are going to be executed inside the browser so it's going to make ajax request to the origin server it's going to based on whether the condition is true or false it's going to re return the response and then it's going to embed the content so for example if i go to this page you will see there will be a small glitch uh, by the time the actual header that's or the smart block is added so for example if i go to the peppa pig page you will see the header uh, will have some glitch little bit of glitch so it main content and then the then it loads this content so it's going to this content is loaded by the ajax request so uh, when you go to this page it uh, detect the location and based on the location uh, it's going to send the ajax request and once the ajax request is complete it's going to replace the content so i will show you how i how this block is done so if i go to this structure smart content my segment set and location not here so if I directly have to go to the uh, block layout Peppa Pig hero banner black yeah so if I go to this one you will see I do have one condition that's directly created here and the segment it says if location is New Jersey then so hero banner New York if the location is Rajasthan then show this another block if otherwise if it's true then show the default block okay so if I go back to this here now because uh, it's showing me the default block right now if I change my location to something else so my current location is set to United States now if I remove this one and my current location is going to be Rajasthan in the India and based on that it's going to replace the image so if I go and re refresh this page you will see it show me different image why it's showing me the desert image because the location is set to Rajasthan so under the setting you will see if the location is set to the Rajasthan then show me a Peppa Pig hero banner Rajasthan block that's a different block so if someone uh, is watching this demo if uh, you browse this page if you are coming from the New York or New Jersey you will see a different image and otherwise you will see the different uh, image that, that that can be default image that's shown earlier here okay now i want to uh, talk about the personalization the ab testing part of that so because all the conditions are executed inside the browser and based on that it's it sends the request to the ajax request to the server and then the server responds with the actual contents so cloudflare worker cannot be used for the ab testing part of this one because Cloudflare worker execute the code inside the uh, 
thus as location of the cloud flare right so i do have uh, cloud uh, this uh, cloud flare site uh, configured i do have workers if i go to the workers i do have class updater <coughs> okay if i go to the quick setting here so this is a script so what going to happen uh, i can with a specific path i can execute certain javascript code and modify the response that that i got from the origin server so if you remember the diagram that i saw on here so what i can do i i can send a request to the cloud fair cloud will send the request to the actual drupal site it will get the response then i get the cloud fair worker that's going to process the response that's written from here it can modify the response and then send it back here so i have the opportunity to run some javascript code here that can modify the actual response and then return it back to the browser okay this will not work with the smart content because the smart content condition are going to be evaluated inside the browser it's a javascript condition and then it's going to return the ajax request to the server and it's going to return the ajax response so uh, for that what you can do you can do the block that's not added by the smart content what you can do oh, if i go to this so i have this uh, this uh, this code so i'm just going to do some zoom in so what it's done is that uh, there's a event listener fetch this event is going to be called when uh, you request the page so uh, it's going to respond with the handle request method so it's going to call the uh, actual request to this method uh, so this is a asynchronous method it's, it's handle respond so it will await it will fetch the actual request from the drupal site and then you will have the response inside this now you have the ability to to modify the response so what i have done i will just set the cookie and if the cookie name uh, is the control then i transform the uh, response i rewrite it if it's not then i transform it in a different way so i do have two transformer uh, the rewriter that is rewriter 1 and rewriter 2 if the cookie name is control then i transform it differently if cookie name is test i transform it differently if not then what i do i just uh, split the traffic or split the possibility of returning one response versus the another by the 50 50 and then if the group is controlled then i transform it with the one if the two i transform it by two and then set the cookie so this this else condition will only be true when client comes the first time if it comes the second time then whether it's going to be a control group or it's going to be a test user group and here i do have rewriter one that's the html rewriter it's going to find this block inside the html and then it's going to class the new uh, rewrite the class attribute of this one similarly the rewriter to find to going to find the block with this id and then it's going to rewrite the class attribute and the class attribute is simply just adding the hidden okay now if i want to test how i can test this code how i can run this code so inside the cloud flare if i go to the cloud flare under the worker tab i do have a possibility to define the path on which path i want to execute this javascript code so i want to ex execute this code only if the path is something like that peppa pig something like that so under the edit you can see i if the path is something like this then run my class updater uh, worker this class updater worker that has this code so whenever if i go to this www.os.com if i go to the peppa pig page you will see in the right hand side i have this peppa pig block 1 why this is block 1 uh, because this block has the id of this one and if i go to this application and the cookie section you will see i am experiment 0 i am the test user so if you remember the name was the experiment 0 test so i if i am if i am the test i my browser has this cookie set with the test then i'm always going to see the block one and uh, if i'm going to uh, let's say if i change this cookie to control and now if i refresh this page i will see the different block will be seven block 2 is seven so what uh, what i have done when the drupal site returns the page when the drupal site returns the page it it has the both the html of the block it has the html that has both the blocks with the two different ids in the cloudflare worker what i do i 
I look for this one block and hide it at the runtime. So in the worker code, what I'm doing, I'm just adding the hidden class to one of the block based on whether it's uh, the 50-50% of that split, whether it's a test or it's a control. The opportunity is given the equally. You can change by changing this parameter to different uh, split logic. So now if I go back to this paper peg page, you will see it will always show me this block too, always, because I'm under the control group. Now if I go back and change my cookie value to test, and now if you refresh, you will see that I see a different block. So this is how you can actually uh, split the traffic and do the A-B testing. And based on that, you can, so when you are showing the different block, you can fire the different events and then the different event can be tracked here, uh, that which block is being shown. Yeah, so that's all uh, I do have. Uh, and on the side, this is a different resources uh, that you can go through the smart content, smart content, IP, data layer, UTM. So if you go through all of these blocks, you will be able to set up the everything that I has I have set up. And thank you, thank you for taking time and listening to me. Uh, I'm Mahesh Sankla and I'm available on the different social media that you can reach out to me and um, uh, I'm player of citizen technology. Thank you, thank you very much.